Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hana? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> Don't call Granddad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. Uh-oh. Ah! Cut! Cut! I think we better call James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. Hey, James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is cheeky.
Pond, international firefighting super spy. <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not, Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> Stanley? <laughs> Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Granddad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon.
Hold it there, Penny. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> the forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do fine. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. <laughs> Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Plenty Pandy. I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. <laughs> Me too. That's amazing! That's amazing! Oh. Thanks! I made it! So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy! But, so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat! Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steel has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Firefighter Sam. Firefighter Quislington, air 100. Keep back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help. We can't get back. Grab hold of the end! Thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh, And built up slowly. Oh, well. Oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? I'm so... I'm so... Lutely. Are you okay, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. <laughs> There's no need to panic, everyone. 
move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. I'm on the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to... Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! It's a UFO. UFO? Oh, alien! Huh? Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens. Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue center till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. <gasps> it's an alien on the roof. you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Penky. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> My floodlights! Off the ice, everyone! Ah, I can't! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. 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 I'd better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Get back! Stand back! I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going
going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. I'll get Norman. <laughs> Power's off, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Look what you've done. Iron Man Sam can't reach me. Uh... Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pangy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. Norman. You can do it. <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh. Oh. They're in the tent! Where do they keep the fireworks? There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. This tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Oh, Dillies! Oh, oh, Trevor! Look at your big muscles! <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head stuck. <gasps> Just dropped the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies. My heron. My scenery. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. On a line, Sam. To the pool! James? James? Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Fireman Sam! Stay! 
Stand back, everyone! Sam! We can't find James! He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms! What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loaded up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. Announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and it's back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves, uh, uh, pandas, fish, unicorns! <laughs> <laughs> If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for 